German bank to shut accounts of U.S. customers, according to an article written in Financial Advisor Newsletter. This was written by uh, Christian uh, Angeloni. Uh, savings firms, uh, they mentioned, are denying services to a dual U.K. and American citizens due to FATCA and are actually canceling their accounts in droves. Uh, if you're a U.S. citizen or a U.S. resident, I advise you, uh, if you don't have an offshore bank account now, uh, you better get one set up as soon as possible because it's getting a lot harder and harder for those persons, uh, especially U.S. citizens and U.S. residents, to set up uh, offshore bank accounts. Uh, the only way to make it easier is if you actually give up your green card or you relinquish your U.S. citizenship. Uh, once the bank account is set up, the likelihood of it being canceled is lower than if you wait and uh, the bank changes its rules on U.S. persons and then just re rejects you as a client. Uh, but even th that's happening a lot now is, is according to this article here. Uh, I, I don't know if you remember in 2008 when UBS got into a lot of trouble for hiding thousands of wealthy uh, people's uh, funds from the IRS uh, and other high tax countries. Uh, UBS actually started calling U.S. persons that had bank accounts with them and telling them they no longer wanted uh, them as clients because UBS had branch offices in the USA. And those offices uh, were actually getting investigated by the IRS. Uh, I actually uh, knew a guy that was in St. Kitts at that time that had funds there in UBS in Switzerland. And his bank actually called him to move the funds, and uh, he left to go overseas to actually get the funds and put them in another bank. Uh, later, UBS paid a huge price for this and incurred a $780 million fine on this. Now, it was from this point forward that offshore banks stopped taking U.S. residents or U.S. citizens because of the fines they saw that UBS had to pay from this. And in fact, the IRS actually started attacking other banks, too. The uh, Swiss secrecy laws could not protect clients because there was, no, uh, there was a whistleblower that actually exposed uh, who the, these clients were with UBS. And um, he made mega millions from the IRS ratting on these clients uh, and the data that he had on other clients w with the bank. Now, I I'm going to talk to you more on this in just a minute. But uh, in this video, I'm going to actually uh, uh, emphasize to you the fact that you can be honest and get your taxes to zero if you do it correctly, but a lot of these people didn't do it that way. And then what happened was their privacy was exposed that you, you don't want, you don't have to be looking over your back like this if you're doing it right. Uh, and and th this is the key right here. So many people don't know that you can do it right and you can get your taxes to zero. Uh, anyway, uh, and, and do it legally. Anyway, if you're interested, if you're, if you're making at least 150,000 uh, US dollars a year or have a net worth of at least a million US, uh, and you want to get your taxes to zero or get a second passport as quick as three months, do three things. Hit the subscribe button to the right of your screen here, and you'll get new videos as they come out automatically. And don't forget to hit the notification bell next to the subscription button. And number two is I'd like to hear from you. If you've got a question or comment, just put it below, and I'll get back with you. And also go to our website, number three, uh, which is www.citizenshipquickly.com, and you can contact us that way. Okay, now, this was what happened with uh, this German bank. It was a Germany-based uh, bank called uh, Augsburger uh, Acting Bank, uh, also called AAB, uh, and it uh, has reportedly told its customers it will close custody accounts and accounts for clients that are considered U.S. United States persons. Uh, additionally, the offer won't be available to U.S. citizens in the future. Now, the closures will be effective from March the 31st, 2021, reported local B2B news website, Fonds Professionnel, and AAB cited the U.S. Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act, which is uh, the uh, uh, FATCA, as the main reason for this. Uh, this is because the legislation requires foreign uh, account institutions and their U.S. clients to report their financial inf information to the Internal Revenue Service for tax purposes as the U.S. Uh, has a citizenship-based taxation system. Now, the um, German bank said that efforts to comply with FATCA increased steadily over the last few years. 
the accounts which in, uh, included uh, the ones where a beneficial owner uh, owners were named will be transferred to a suitable bank of which U.S. clients are required to provide the details for the transfer. Now, similarly, in the U.K., savings platform Horizon said it cannot offer any of its services to dual U.S. and U.K. citizens. Uh, when asked on Twitter from a potential client why they couldn't select the U.S. as a place of birth when registering, the firm said that unfortunately Rising U.K. is unable to provide financial products to dual U.K. and U.S. nationals due to FATCA. And they stated that we apologize for any sort of inconvenience. Now, back to this whistleblower that exposed all these clients to the IRS and the mega millions this guy made from this disclosure. Uh, there was a guy by the name of Bradley Birkenfeld who literally hit the jackpot riding on UBS clients and made mega millions doing it. And this started a huge distrust in the whole banking industry uh, offshore that started to steer banks to reject U.S. clients. In fact, Wikipedia explained about this story about this Bradley Birkenfeld, and the story kind of went like this. Uh, Birkenfeld actually began his career in the banking business in the currency trading department of State Street Bank and Trust in Boston, and the information uh, did not lead to any, uh, any uh, uh, or actually he, um, uh, he claims that he first blew the whistle on uh, illegal activities while at State Street approached the Federal Bureau of Investigation, which is the FBI, in uh, 1994. The information did not lead to any indictments. But in October of 2001, uh, Birkenfeld began working uh, at UBS in Geneva, Switzerland, again as a private banker, offering wealth management services. Um, and um, his principal job responsibility was to solicit wealthy Americans to move their assets uh, to the bank, enabling them to hide the funds due to Switzerland's strict secrecy laws and thus avoiding uh, paying any sort of U.S. taxes. Now, according to Birkenfeld, UBS sponsored events like art shows and yacht races in the U.S. to attract wealthy people as potential clients. After learning about uh, UBS Switzerland uh, dealings in the U.S., Birkenfeld resigned on uh, October the 5th, 2005, and became a partner at Union Charter, where he specialized in wealth management. In 2007, he disclosed to the U.S. Department of Justice what he knew about UBS's illegal uh, practices attempting to take advantage of the Tax Relief and Health Care Act of 2006, a law that could pay him up to 30 percent of the tax revenue recouped by the IRS. Now, however, because he did not provide full and complete information to U.S. authorities, Birkenfeld was arrested in, in Boston uh, in May the 7th, 2008. And, uh, this was when he deplaned from Switzerland, uh, arraigned at the U.S. District Court, Southern District of Florida, on May the 13th. Um, and Birkenfeld resigned his position with Union Charter on the 3rd of June. Uh, and this was um, 2000, uh, after agreeing to plead guilty to not uh, disclosing, uh, disclosing um, uh, accurate information. As a private banker, um, Birkenfeld advised uh, California real estate developer Igor uh, Olenkoff to evade U.S. Uh, uh, taxes worth approximately 200 million U.S. dollars. And then Olenkoff subsequently pleaded guilty to tax evasion and paid a $52 million fine but avoided a jail sentence. Uh, U.S. District Justice uh, William uh, Zolach uh, charged him with a single count of conspiracy to defraud the United States and sentenced Birkenfeld to 40 months in prison and a $30,000 U.S. dollar fine. Now, Birkenfeld served his uh, time at the Scullyville County Federal Correctional Institution uh, from January 2010 to August 2012. In, in 2012, as a consequence of the whistleblower status, the U.S. Internal Revenue Service, listen to this, awarded him $104 million U.S. dollars. This is 26% of the total $400 million in taxes that were returned. In Switzerland, Birkenfeld is viewed as a criminal and a traitor by some members of the Swiss public and banking community as he broke the country's bank secrecy laws. Although he left Switzerland before he disclosed bank, uh, banking uh, uh, client information, uh, had he remained as a resident, he would have been prosecuted by Zurich authorities uh, for three and a half years in prison and, and commensurate uh, fines. 
When asked if he would uh, ever return to Switzerland, uh, Birkenfeld stated, I, I don't believe I will. UBS uh, uh, announced that it would cease providing cross-border private banking services to U.S. domicile clients through its non-U.S. regulated uh, units. Uh, this was as of July 2008. Now, after Bergenfell's uh, award, the uh, Swiss um, news, uh, uh, newspaper um, uh, is called Blick, claimed uh, Bergenfell was a blessing for the Swiss financial industry and that his uh, Relevations helped to accelerate uh, the industry's transition away from its uh, reliance on dirty money by dooming the bank secrecy laws that enable tax evasion. Birkenfell has compared the Swiss banking industry with gangsters. In essence, bank secrecy is analogous to criminal racketeering, and the Swiss government, along with every Swiss private banker, uh, it being a, a co conspirator. Now, in January 2015, Birkenfeld was subpoenaed by the French magistrate investigating the abetting of tax evasion and tax fraud by French citizens um, at UBS. In February 2015, he was allowed to travel to France from the 27th of February uh, to uh, the 1st of March 2015 to appear before the French court. Uh, the French court is investigating allegations that UBS uh, marketed Swiss numbered uh, bank accounts to, uh, to French citizens to allow them to hide their assets. Now, the reason I'm, I'm giving you this information is that you can do things right without cutting corners and get your taxes to zero. But if you're going to do it, uh, you know, staying a U.S. person, you better start setting up a multiple bank accounts and get a second passport before that do door is closed. Uh, these are key things that you need to look at. Uh, you know, if, if you're making 150,000 U.S. dollars a year and have a net worth of a million U.S. and you want to learn more how to legally get your taxes to zero, do three things. Hit the subscribe button on the right of your screen here and the notification bell. You'll get new videos as they come out automatically. And number two is I'd like to hear from you. If you've got a question or comment, just put it below. And number three is uh, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and hit that top bar which says apply with us, fill out the questionnaire, and then hit the bottom part of the questionnaire that says send it to us so we can get back with you and look at your situation. And uh, thanks for watching. I look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.